look at that carpet. Hello friends. Today is Thursday, March 21st. You're probably not going to see this until June. It's been busy. Anyway, this is a 2013 Chrysler 200. So this video is about a lot of different things. <laughs> One of which is, guess what's in here? I have scrimped and saved and finally decided to get one. I did not buy a brand name for a reason. Um, I don't, I am not the type of person that feels like you can accomplish the job with only the brand names. So I went with a generic brand, but there you go. I got one of these Tornador tools, but I got a generic brand. This is from Gosita. Gosita. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna get this connected and give it a try, especially on Mama's carpets, because you not. They give new meaning to looking rough. So let's get started with the day. look at that carpet she does not have floor mats I cannot figure out what I gotta do to get her to get floor mats so let's start vacuuming and see how well it loosened that stuff up We'll see. I read the instructions and it says, do not use it at full air capacity, which is actually the same directions for the Tornador. So let's see what happens here. Okay, you can see there's still a lot of buildup right in here. Obviously, that's where the foot pedal is. And there's a little bit more embedded dirt in here. You can see it on my end. I don't know if you can see it. But we're going to see if we can't break that loose. That's the point of buying this. Okay, maybe you can see it knocked a lot of junk loose. Let me see if I can't get a closer look. Knocked a lot of junk loose. So we're going to vacuum again and then see where we are from there. If I'm going to put a floor mat down on this, I want to get this as clean as I can. So that is the third time we've run that tool over it. Um, I'm still getting dirt out, which is awesome to me because just a simple vacuum was just not enough and I knew that. That's why I started using the air compressor before I even had the tool. But we're on number three. So let's see. Yeah, it's loosening it up. 
when you're first starting out, sometimes you just have to put that elbow grease into it. Let me tell you something. I like that tool because it's breaking that stuff up. I can see it, but the vacuum won't pull it out. So the air pulls it out. It may not have been the first time, but it did the second and third time. So while I was doing my research on this, I wanted to look into all of the possible uses for this tool. So here's another one and we'll see what happens. Spray some APC on there. Look at all that, that it broke loose just by spraying a little bit of APC on there. Apparently, the dirt, and now I don't know if this is true, apparently the dirt is heavier than the fibers. So you have to reverse that and make the fibers heavier than the dirt. So I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. And look at all that. It brought it all to the surface. Hell yeah. So let's vacuum it up. Look at that. A little bit of APC made a big difference. Yay. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I don't know that I can be used in any other places, but it says that it can be. So we're going to test that out before I end the video and continue on with the detail because this detail does need to get done. Mama needs her clean car. So. Let me try this one last thing that it says that I can use it. There's a hundred different things you can use it on um, and you can use it with and ways to use it. But I wanted to try these two. So here we go. Let's try this last one and then we'll, we'll shut this video off. So apparently you can use this in place of a steamer in some cases. Um, so I gave it a try. That's what I was doing. The one thing I noticed that it did do is it got the gunk out of here better. It got the gunk out of here better. Out of here. It did not do much with this cloth, but I still have to clean it a little differently. This stuff is weird. And I think it did a better job on the cage, the speaker cage. But hey, maybe it'll work. That doesn't look too awful bad. So, there it is. It's kind of dirty, but it says you can take it off. So hey, I like it, I like it. But let me tell you something, do you know why I appreciate this? Because I've had to do it the hard way for a very long time. That is something that detailers take for granted. They jump into buying stuff like this. So when they don't have something like this, we go into a panic. I've seen it so many times. I've seen it, whether it's a written post on Facebook or a video on YouTube or Instagram. But because 
I learned how to do it and work at it very hard without this. I can appreciate this much more. So for a cheap knockoff brand, I'll take it. So thanks for hanging out on my channel, guys. I sure do appreciate it. If you'll take a minute to like and maybe leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button for me, please, because I would love to have you. So anyway, I'm really tired today. So I'm gonna head back into this car, get this detailing done, work with this tool some more and uh, go home and relax. I just came off of my three days on the truck. Because my body is still becoming accustomed to it, it's kicking my... So anyway, I hope you all have a good one. Remember, take care of you, take care of your family and your home, and then get to detailing. See you later.